day to you and how you be everybody well today we're gonna do some tests I got this um, ink from screen print direct which I received um, this week as you saw the video it was a lot of the inks coming up so we could test and review and I want to give a big shout out and thanks to all the people at screen print direct for sending us this so we could test them out and give them a little review um, what I noticed on the last video the comments so many people are using this ink because a lot of them were like the white is very smooth the opacity is good but i want to give it a good test on it can't wait to open this because when it comes to this um low cure ink i have noticed with the poly ink that the ink is very very tough want to open this to see how smooth it is and to check out the opacity remember that this is a low cure ink that means you could cure it at 280 degrees on the conveyor dryer speed up your process but what i really want to know is the opacity because the smoother the ink is the opacity is not at that level i already set up some screens we're going to print on the back just to make sure the design i have on the back is a lot is gonna take a lot of this ink and I want to test it not only the print um, surface but also the opacity and how soft and smooth this ink is so let's just get started let me show you the screens I'm gonna print on this so let's do this okay to put these inks on the test I created three screens one for the front of the shirt which is a black and white the black is on a 230 mesh I want to check out that black um, low cure ink on the black and the white is going to be on a 110 mesh and for the back also on a 110 mesh the first thing i want to test is once i open the ink is how well it mixes because every time you get a new ink you i gotta make sure you gotta mix it so all those chemicals could activate and it works well the other thing is that i use the back here this is the one i really want to see is because i'm going to deposit a lot of ink there i want to see the opacity and after it goes through the conveyor dryer how smooth that ink feels i don't want it to feel rough but that's what we're going to do on the test and as you notice this is sign here i created this for my boy it's his birthday and i wanted to give him something special because i'm working on my clothing line and it's my clothing line is a faith-based clothing line i'm working on and this is actually my my first design you'll be able to see the preview of this and what i noticed is when you're taking um images like characters and things yeah it's very simple you get creative and you do some work but when it comes to words like this is a verse to take a verse and make it into a design takes a lot of creativity and i'm so pumped up that it came out real nice once it's printed you guys are gonna like it but now enough talking and let's get printing oh oh man i am surprised i am shocked how smooth this ink is for being a low cure ink this smooth wow it's actually smoother than the lava ink unbelievable wow man now we're gonna take it on the screen and give it a little test run and now let's check out the opacity The good thing about the low cure ink, not only you could cure the ink through a conveyor dry at 270, but when it comes to the flashing time, instead of doing, let's say 12, 14 seconds, you could do maybe six, eight seconds. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, here it is, nice and white. The opacity, let me tell you, the opacity, not bad. The smoothness, yes, nice and soft. And when it's stretching, let's test it. Let's see if it stretches well. Not bad, not bad. Stretch is pretty good, no cracks, so back done now let me see how it falls on a hoodie and then we'll do the front okay the one thing i noticed when it came to hoodies 
first one and it it feels not that smooth but also a little too thick for me but when i went to the other hoodie i decided to push stroke and much thinner and much softer so i guess for hoodies this ink is better if you could push because you know it's a thicker fabric than the t-shirt that you could pull that and it won't be no problem but this one says it needs to absorb but this one came a little too rough not happy with it but once i said you know what let me push it once i pushed it soft and the opacity on the money so now let's work on the front Okay, everything nice and done. Let me tell you, check it out. Real nice. Green, pink, blue, army green. The back, the cross came out beautiful. Now, this is my review. When it came to the 50-50 t-shirts, the opacity on the money. Very good, no problem. When it came to the hoodies, that's where I saw a little problem because this was the hoodies are not 50 50 they are 100 percent cotton and I had to flash to then do again but then I noticed I had to flash again to get that opacity on it and then it came out looking good that's the thing I have to say but remember this ink is not really for cotton we have our regular plastic so but when it comes to 50 50 and polyester that's pretty good but the real test is this here this is the test these polyester shirts i have done with even the poly ink and even at 280 it was still migrating but now i'm gonna put this to a test i'm gonna print and then once i put it there i want to see if it migrates i'm gonna wait for the next day and then i'm gonna show you if did it migrate or not and that's what we're gonna go see. That's the real test right there. So let's do this. Okay, as you see, you don't see the shapes of the shirt. That's how usually, every time I have done it with the poly ink, that's how it looks. After I pass the conveyor dryer, it looks good, but the next day, it just popped up. So we're gonna pass the conveyor dryer, and then tomorrow, We'll see. As you see, this, you do not see at all the mark of the shirts. Now, give it a day and find out. So, let's jump on to the next day. Okay, so here we are a day later. Just got here, just saw the print. Amazing. It did not die migrate. Check it out. It came out real nice. The white came out soft, no dye migration there, no problem. Now, the other thing I did was I printed on the other side of the shirt and this time I let it cure all the way to 290, 295 to see and check it out. This is what happens. You see, it dye migrate the whole um, pattern of the shirt you could see it man and this is the issue I was having with the poly ink where even at 280 it was happening and really it's not the fault of the ink is usually most of it is the fault of the brand because some polyester brands they didn't dye that shirt very well so it's gonna come out because sometimes I have gotten from the another brand, something like that, and it didn't. So I realized that a lot has to do also do with the brand that you're getting your poly from. If they did a little cheap dye on it, it's gonna come out. But now, since we already have these new shirts coming out where it's dye migration free, I think that's what it's called, or something else, but you know what it means. That it's not gonna die. It's guaranteed that even if you put that at 300, 320 is not gonna die migrate or bleed of, of anything like that. So that's what I like it. You see the front came out real nice. The shirts came out good. The 50-50, the hoodies, really like it. The ink is nice and soft. 
You have no issues with the passing it and clearing out the mesh when you um, push the squeegee. No issues. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful. Stay safe and peace out. Oh, by the way, stay tuned to next week's video. It's all about the challenge. It's all about the challenge. I'm going to do a little giveaways. Giveaway. I already got the idea. It's going to be awesome. And if you're interested in this ink, go to screenprintdirect.com. And let me tell you, check out the Rapid Cure inks. That's what we tested today. It's going to be awesome. So see you next week. Later.